hello hello welcome back to our youtube channel welcome back to our youtube channel thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so the first um, video i did on rainwater on this channel i remember when i did um, that video last year the rainy season has um it has stopped raining then so i just put out the video hoping in preparation for the next rainy season which is this year but i just um got um a wonderful testimony aside from the video i made on its own about some um, rainwater i have talked about some um, rainwater subsequently in other video how to use it and all that so i got um, a wonderful testimony rainwater by the grace of god transformed the life of someone i recommended it to today as i speak with you that job interview she got it as i speak with you the wedding bell is ringing and this were some of the things that have been bothering this young lady thank god it's a thing of the past basically i will i want to tell us and remind us the need to incorporate some rainwater in your spiritual journey if there is any um there are other yes there are other subsequent ways you can use um rainwater now the number one way you can use um rainwater spiritually is endeavor to make sure that the rainwater is the one that you got direct from the sky into your bucket or whatever you kept outside for the rain to drop into it or if it's under the tree that you dropped it, it's still fine. But basically, let it not be a rainwater that is dropping from the roof of your house. No. No matter how little the rainwater you get, it's very good. Some persons go as far as storing rainwaters they got direct from the sky to use it for some months, even when it stopped them raining. Now, there is power in rainwater that is gotten directly from the sky. Can I tell you something, especially during um, that period, a, a day it's raining and it comes with thunder and brimstone. That is a very powerful rainwater spiritually. Rainwater can be used for cleansing. I want to really talk about rainwater in other aspects, but not in this video. Rainwater can be used for cleansing. If you have a rainwater and you needed to do anything that has to do with cleansing, you can use the rainwater as the water that is needed for whatever it is. When you are using a rainwater, do not mix it with other waters, with other waters. Endeavor to use a rainwater on its own. How you can use a rainwater to your own advantage to bring you and favor blessings by the grace of God Almighty is number one way is you getting the rainwater charging it by speaking to it and breathing, breathing into it three times this is you energizing whatever you are using for spiritual purpose when you get rainwater charge it by speaking to it um and breathing into it you can use it alone without adding anything to get the maximum spiritual efficacy now whatever reason you are using this rainwater if you want to use it for cleansing if you want to use it for blessing endeavor to be speaking whatever you want while you are pouring this rainwater on you remember i told you you can use it for cleansing by adding other things that has to do with them um, other materials that are for cleansing into the rainwater same way you, if you want to use it for blessing you can use it by adding other materials that are meant to bring um, blessings to you by the grace of god one way you can use um, rainwater for blessing a very known um, method i have discussed on this channel severally is getting a bucket of rainwater drop um some salt into it 
either sea salt, hamania salt, rock salt, the normal, the normal salt you buy in the market. Now I want to tell us something. When you are buying a salt for use for spiritual purpose, basically I would advise you to get the salt that is not um processed, like that is not um package or whatever but if the only option you have available for you is the salt that is packaged in order not to be left out go ahead and use it but the most powerful is the unprocessed um, salt to an extent in its natural form if you are in my country nigeria there's this salt they sell in the market whereby you go they measure it with cup they measure it with plates, with cup and all that. You can get that salt, bless it and keep it for whatever spiritual use you want to do with it. Or you can get the native salt, the one that is in rock form. Now, when you drop some salt in your um, the buckets of rainwater you want to use for prayer of blessing purpose into your life. Now, you, you're going to add um, sugar to this um, bucket of water. A spoon of sugar or two spoons of sugar depending on the quantity of the rainwater you have then you're going to add um, honey if you have honey add some honey like a spoon or two spoons of honey into this bucket of rainwater you have with you but if you don't have a um, honey you can go ahead and use the sugar and salt alone because sugar on its own has its own spiritual uses and spiritual benefits when you are done adding these ingredients all you have to do is some persons go as far as I for my I for myself I add a bay leaf like three leaves of bay leaf into the water. So I charge it by speaking into it, praying over it that it's going to work for me to bring me blessing, to bring me favor in whatever I do. Probably if I am stepping out to meet um, someone that I needed a favor that is beneficiary to my life Remember you can't just be doing some things and maybe you feel it's because of what you're doing that people are favoring you It's not true. First and foremost God has to favor you then he uses whatever you are doing to favor you are you getting my point? So don't boast or brag in things that you are doing, assuming and believing that those are the things that bring you favor. No, that is why you have to charge whatever you're using. You have to pray. Now, for the fact that you're using anything to bring you favor, you get favor that is merited unto you, not a favor that is unmerited unto you or a favor that is merited unto someone else and you feel because you have done these things you will take something and what belongs to someone it doesn't work that way i am telling you all you are doing is to leave yourself open for favor to leave yourself open for people to see you to favor you yes because sometimes some of our blessings have been released to us by god almighty but because of the negative energies around us because of the evil eyes channels uh, channel at us if you don't do some of these natural things they may get to be delayed but if you're doing some of these natural things to bring you favor, to bring you blessing alongside cleansing yourself, you leave yourself open for whatever favor that God has in stock for you. Now, this is how you use the rainwater and the three ingredients, the salt, honey, and um, sugar to bring you blessing and favor. If you have an interview, a contract, or there is something you're believing God for, just charge it with that intention then if you don't have anything in mind you can always have a, um, a favor bath with the rainwater leaving yourself open for blessing and favor when you always or often use a favor i'm um, sorry rainwater to bed to have your bed you begin to see people begin to tend to love you without and uh, they, they just can't explain it people begin to um, give you this complimentary admiration like they are seeing you for the first time but these are persons that sees you daily these are persons that probably you will live with them so it's not like they're just seeing you for a long time that is the power of rainwater for blessing please it's another rainy season let's take advantage of the um, rainwater to cleanse either to cleanse ourselves or do things that will bring us favor and blessings by the grace of god this is one yes i say one of the ways you can use rain water for blessing till i come your way again to an, with another video on how to use a um, rain water to your own benefit by the grace of god thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you
it's none other person but Gloria Cheesy O. Thank you.